doge is a dog, but a whale is a whale. But this does not end here. In the world of finance, a whale is an entity with enough power to impact the market of an asset by transferring massive transactions. And as with the issue with most of the cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin is marred with whales. Blockchain data platform Chain Analysis recently published a market intel report on Dogecoin, and the findings are rather interesting. According to the report, Dogecoin ownership is very concentrated, meaning a small number of wealthy entities own most of the supply. There are currently 4 million on-chain Doge holders. However, 106 billion Doge, that is 82% of supply is held by 535 entities that hold more than 10 million Doge each, or 0.01% of entities. This is likely a mixture of businesses such as exchanges that store Doge on behalf of millions of traders and a few now wealthy early investors. Major Doge exchanges such as Robinhood do not currently allow withdrawals and retained customers in general do not frequently make on-chain withdrawals from exchanges. So either the vast majority of Doge is locked in exchanges and traded by retail, or it's concentrated in the hands of a small number of now wealthy individuals. Now, why this matters is because entities who hold large amounts of coins of a certain cryptocurrency also known as whale accounts, can influence the market single-handedly if they decide to sell. As of September 1st, the largest Dogecoin whale with the address dh 5 ya holds nearly $10 billion worth of digital currency. The investor has over 37 billion Dogecoins, which is about 28% of the cryptocurrency's overall supply. This already notorious Dogecoin address has been known by on-chain sleuths and Shiba researchers for quite some time. The strange address received its first Doge on February 6, 2019, as 500 Doge coins were sent to the address. This was followed by a transaction worth 60 Doge, then another two sent shortly after. Then all of a sudden, the perplexing address received over 1.6 billion Doge coins in one transfer. Months later, the address took in massive amounts of Doge coin, and from here on out, the address has amassed over 28% of the entire Doge supply. It is suspected there is a speculation abound that the address might belong to Elon Musk. This is because months after, Musk said to the public that Dogecoin might be his favorite cryptocurrency and followed up with tweets about Dogecoin in 2020 and into 2021. All of which is simply circumstantial evidence, and there's no way of knowing who owns the Doge address without the entity coming forward. Experts believe that this concentrated ownership of Dogecoin is what makes it risky to invest in. According to Cheng Peng Zhao, the Chinese-Canadian business executive who is the founder and CEO of Binance, some pros, risks of Doge, pros, cool, fun, PR manager Elon Musk, decentralized in the sense there is no core team, and it's abandoned. Risks. One address holds 28% of all Doge? The top 20 addresses hold more than 50% plus of all Doge, kind of centralized in that sense, abandoned. The BTC proponent Pierre Richard also shared his views on CZ's pros and risk tweet. He believes that the biggest risk with Dogecoin is that it does not have halvings. There's never any delusion of the Doge supply. This makes Dogecoin unusable for long-term savings. Contrast with Bitcoin, which successfully had its third halving last year. 1 BTC equals 1 21th million BTC. No delusion. Dogecoin, since it was created, was supposed to be meant for fun, and the founders explicitly explained that it was different from other coins born at that time period. However, the token has been susceptible to its fair share of pumps and dumps over the years. Temporarily back in 2014, for a small period of time, Doge trading volume was larger than BTC's and all the other crypto volumes. Despite this action in 2014, the market valuation at the time was much lower, still is, and the Dogecoin supply is also much higher. Currently, there is over 131 billion Doge in existence. This is huge compared to other cap supplies. However, many have been forced to watch helpless as the price has risen and fallen sharply, unable to cash in on their digital wealth. Here's why. People make mistakes. These mistakes could be costly. Sometimes crypto holders lose their private keys or the owners of the wallets and private keys dies without sharing them or their location with anyone else. 
Recent example is the recent death of Gerald Cotton, who was the CEO and founder of Canada's largest cryptocurrency exchange, Quadriga CX. This led to $250 million worth of crypto being inaccessible as the owner did not share the keys to the wallets. Well, there are thousands of cases like this, so it's only logical to presume that Dogecoin is no exception. Several people have been talking about one specific Dogecoin address that holds over $1 billion worth of Doge. The address DDTTQ has over 5 billion Dogecoins, which is about 3.84% of the cryptocurrency's overall supply. Now, this is where things get interesting. As per the reports, the first buy from this address was made back in 2014. This was about the time Dogecoin was created. So it's really early purchase, since then the address has accumulated a significant amount of Dogecoin. However, despite a large number of ins, the address only has one out, which is a bit unusual. Investors have been pondering for months who or what is behind the Doge wallet. The address could belong to an individual, a market maker, or an exchange, though the lack of activities hints that whoever it belongs to no longer has access to it. And well, in my opinion, it's a fair assumption. Now on the bright side, it is one great piece of news for Dogecoin. Lost tokens indicate a reduction in supply, which in the long term means a greater value for Dogecoin. That is why whatever you decide to do with your Dogecoin, do it with caution, because you never know how valuable your cryptocurrency will be in the next few years. You surely don't want to lose them. So what do you think about the concentration of Dogecoin whales and the mystery Dogecoin address DDTTQ? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you found our video informative, do like it and share it with your friends. Till next time, stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel for all new updates coming up.